Hey everybody, um, so I really wanted to make this video and talk about the new Amazon Prime video that came out series, um, The Boys, and holy <laughs> It is great, I watched it with my boyfriend, we watched it really, hey, I saw it on, um, when I forgot the guys on YouTube that we, he usually watches, and they were like, hey, I was just watching The Boys, I thought it'd be really good, and so my boyfriend was like, hey, let's watch it, and whoa, what the hell was that? <laughs> so just imagine a world where superheroes are basically the worst human superhuman beings ever possible and they do a lot of the and they are absolutely the worst and like running into your girlfriend and like killing her and like giving a fake ass apology that's one of the things um, <laughs> so it's kind of like if you were to just have a real life scenario of what superheroes really be like behind closed doors um so it was mind-blowing what really got me was homelander's character uh there's gonna be spoilers a spoiler alert there's gonna be a lot of spoilers in this so if you're not ready for this i suggest you stop this video go watch all the eight episodes and then come back to this one because there's gonna be a lot of spoilers <laughs> so homelander's character i just want to jump into it homelander at first, I was like, he seems a little bit off. His mouth movements are weird. <laughs> if you really watch his mouth, his, his lips creep me out. But he's a great character. Anyway, so just seeing him in Stillwell, because he's part of Bot, um, the company which owns the superheroes, The Deep, the, the Seven, Starlight, all these superheroes that are meant to be the poster child of what superheroes meant to be, but really they're all just a bunch of drug dealers, alcoholics, Oedipal Complex, people you know the usual so with looking at homelander i was like Ugh, i get a creepy vibe from him i don't know why and then like seeing him in stillwell i'm just like whoa is there like something going on here is he the, is she the mom my boyfriend is saying is that his mom <laughs> is she the mom is she the lover is she the controller i feel like she's all those things at once and Homeland, Homelander kind of look as kind of appears as like pawn to her that he really that she really uses to her own benefit for the company's financial gains or what have you. So going into that, uh, and Homelander, you know, turns that whole idea we had of him on its head in the last episode when he just kills one thing he thought he cared about, which is still well. We're like, so what? Do you have no weakness? And so we are just thrown into this cornucopia of what the hells and wows. <laughs> and it's really just a wild ride. So Billy Butcher is someone that I feel like is the anti-godmother of what Huey really needed when Robin got, you know, blown to smithereens by um, a, a track when he ran through her. So it seems as if Butcher is still holding on to like this hurt of like I hate Homelander because he did this even though I don't really have any proof only the suspected proof of this woman that came to me was like hey soup's are evil right <laughs> let's go get him so Billy I feel Billy already had a, a suspicion of hatred towards superheroes but this was kind of like his concrete like my wife never came back after she was like molested or raped by Homelander and at toward the end toward the eighth episode you're like did um did becca really <laughs> you know have a relationship with homelander and she was kept in the wraps because she had his kid or was you know was there actually a situation that happened where she's taken advantage of so there's a lot of like questionable characters you're like did people really do what they said they were doing or was this all an act and you don't know who to trust at all in the series so throw your trust and care for anyone out the window because it's not gonna last maybe huey might be a redeemable character but that is probably it <laughs> and it's it's just uh <laughs> so going back to billy butcher he kind of is just like egging huey on he, i throughout the episodes when billy was there he kept like reminding this is for robin and i'm just like this is for you and you're just self-reflecting on yourself and you know trying to project your project your hatred onto another person where huey was just like sometimes he was like i don't want to do this anymore and billy's like don't forget robin and he's like okay you're right and then he had visions of robin and i feel billy just made everything worse than it needed to be and huey could have just been fine just blowing up um translucent and living his normal life kind of <laughs> so it just seemed that billy is like the agitator throughout the whole story i feel like a lot of things could have been just reconciled if billy would took a step back 
and been like did I exhaust all my options of like actually finding Becca is my mind already just like I want Homelander and that's it nothing's gonna cure that so it was just a lot of like what ifs and how comes and, ah, I feel so angry that vengeance is taking over I don't care who I hurt which inevitably brings me to this point that that the boys is kind of like a, a satire also for family and like who are you really molded by the people who were upbringing you or is everyone just out for the individual gain and self-fulfillment and trying to be the best you know because you have the seven for example they're supposed to be the superhero family take the avengers take um, justice league they're supposed to be this monolith of what a great you know family supposed to be like but the father figure homelander he is out you know doing whatever he pleases um and leaving people to die on a plane that's really not you know the fatherly figure you really look up to and his children if you want to say um the deep sexual assault <laughs> mauve um alcoholic problem kind of just has this like in between area of like i want to say i'm to him homelander but also my image and also i want to hide my sexuality and then you have starlight who's just coming on the scene she's just like i am not living up to this expectation that i thought that being a superhero would be and her trying to find herself understanding that she too was experimented on by compound v and all this a plethora of just like whoa <laughs> and it's just like does family really protect you or is it just an illusion that people create to feel like they're part of something and even with the boys you have kamiko who like was a part of family now she's thrusted into the boys after they saved her you have frenchy who kind of does what he ever what he wants on impulse and doesn't care about anybody else around him you have mother's milk that kind of is the closest thing to humanity and just reason <laughs> when he tries to talk to everyone in just collective space and get them all together and you have Billy that doesn't care about anybody. He's going to do what he has to do. We can see this, like, I think it was in the last episode where he was leaving Huey. He's like, Huey, you're with me or whatever he says. And he drives off and goes to find Homelander. And he was like, we got to save our friends, you know, the people that you care about that Huey just met like a few days ago. And you get this, like, feeling of, okay, so <laughs> family either means everything or nothing to some people. And it kind of pulls into question, are you... You're, are, are you you if you don't have a family? I mean, you can see in Homelander's case, he had nothing and he's turned into this empty, emotionless, Oedipal complex character where <laughs> he has absolutely nothing. He's emotionally blank, which is scary. <laughs> so dealing with that and also empathy and just seeing the progression and regression of some characters in, this epi in these episodes are really something like I haven't really seen in a series so far um and Huey I would say in progression and regression Huey has kind of progressed in some areas and regressed in others um finding himself being more confident I can say that he has definitely found a voice but going back into that mode of being manipulated by Billy Butcher you can obviously see that when you anytime he has a panic attack or anytime he sees Robin or anytime Billy is reminding him like hey don't forget Robin or doing this for Robin he's kind of easily manipulated by past feelings and trauma so that is a little problematic and he needs to kind of like fight through that and understand when people are using him which he's catching on to but not fast enough I would say and and then you have i would say a little bit progression and regression with starlight um in terms of her finding out her true self as she uh, her mom just created her out of you know money from vaught and she was basically just this experiment that they did upon and that she agreed to and starlight really didn't have a choice so starlight's like in this in between space is like i've been i've been used my whole life and now i finally have the chance to regain that power back and how is she going to do that so that's going to be really interesting to see in season two which i'm excited about and you have the deep with this whole sexual harassment episode uh, thing with um starlight and him trying to like find himself back and like who is he and him shaving his head i really didn't care for his character no offense because like after that like maybe there's a reason why they did that as well maybe he has a redeeming quality later on maybe he goes on the boys side to bring down homelander who knows but <laughs> i kind of wrote the deep off after like you know it didn't feel like he had any i mean of course he got punished he got sent to ohio you know and downgraded not part of the seven anymore but it feels like he like didn't fully comprehend his actions only that he is now demoted and he doesn't have that status that he did before it didn't feel anything like huge or monolithic to 
to like just break his character that he did something horrible to somebody else so I didn't really feel for it Meh. <laughs> um who else uh, Mother's Milk, he's kind of stayed like temperate. He's just trying to protect his family and also help out his friend Butcher, but he's being screwed over multiple times. It's not working out in his favor. <laughs> and you also have Frenchie. Frenchie is kind of, you know, having a, that relationship with Kamiko and just figuring out, you know, who she is and giving his all and protecting this um, woman. And so that is a character progression in terms of, you know, Frenchie caring about someone other than himself. And in addition to Butcher, Butcher is just a lost case at this point, and I don't know how he's gonna like turn out in season two after figuring that Becca um, had Homelander's child and she's been fine this whole time. And honestly, just to get on the topic of Becca real quick, she really like ruined people's lives. Like, it was Becca is the whole central part of why everything went to total. If we could be perfectly honest here. If she had just came forth, who cares? You know, some some type of communication. She could have had some type of communication. Just to let him know, just to let Billy know that she was okay and so he wouldn't have to go on a rampage and like try to kill soups, translucent didn't need to die, you know, he wouldn't need to be involved in this, but it just seemed like out of her negligence and maybe her and her NDR agreement, she kind of just let all this transpire and now here we are and everything is total mayhem. But at least, you know, Homelander finds out eventually. So if things happen for a reason because Homelander would have never known he had a son that he reproduced and stuff. So that is guess a bright side to it all. But I didn't really feel like I feel like Becca could have like prevented all this from happening and Billy wouldn't be a wrecked character that he is now and keeping that open trauma of hurt and hurting other people to help him hurt others like it, it the cycle would have been over you know if Becca just came forward so I'm just a little pissed about that I was so mad I was like she called it all honestly and this all could have been avoided and you know Homelander could have known he had a son he would have been less emotionally empty a lot of things would have been better if Becca would have came forward because what's the worst that could happen? Like, oh, I have Homelander's son. Oh, now you are a national weapon threat to the world. No, not really. Homelander will damn well protect you because you, you you gave his seed, you know, gave birth to a seed. So I feel like she would have been well protected. And, you know, Butcher would have been pissed. He probably still would have went after Homelander. But at least, you know, he wouldn't have went to the extreme that he did throughout the whole first season of this series. So that's just a thought. Just a thought. And stuff, so just like having that um the transgression the regressions the the, the complex of family the just the overall just cool cool idea of just bringing superheroes down a notch and showing what that looks like and then it'd be pretty disgusting and gory and you know the things that can happen but <laughs> behind closed doors can be really something of horror <laughs> but it's something we need to explore in terms of you know what superheroes really get up to and what is their true motivation rather than maybe it's, it probably would be surprised like it's not saving people it's the clout it's the followers it's the being controlled by an organization that just wants your powers and uses them for your for their own personal gain and explore that concept in this day and age in this time period is really really good <laughs> take that however you may but it's really just interesting and fresh to see how this is going to pan out in the next season. And I really want to read. That's going to, going to be another thing added to my collection that I really want to read in terms of comics. So GG, kudos to the team for like now opening the doors for more comics and graphic novels to have a space to be explored. And all around, it is a really good series. So definitely check out The Boys. It's on Amazon Prime. Do it talk about it let me know what you think about homelander his edible complex of still well or just the overall who do you feel is like going to be redeemable in season two or not or who's just going to be like the total worst let me know and this was a this is a, a review because i really wanted to talk about it and yeah so thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing and all that good stuff and see you in the next episode